Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill and because I didn't record anything in a while and it's Sunday today, I felt like playing a little game of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup I thought I'd just record that for you guys and hope you enjoy it. reason why I'm playing a bit of Crawl at the moment is that next Friday the new tournament to celebrate a new stable version of the game is going to start and uh, well I do not have the time to really try hard on the tournament, but I will definitely play a couple of casual games. And I uh, decided that I want to uh, break my record for the longest streak of wins during this tournament. So I'm gonna play really slowly and carefully. And I think I will record a lot of that for you guys. So maybe if you wanna tune in for it, feel free to do so. So what do we play now? I think I'll play a Draconian Fire Elementalist. That's a uh, combination that I really like to play at the moment. And uh, my current goal in Crawl is to become greater Fire Elementalist. I want to win every race as a Fire Elementalist. I've done more than half of them, but there are still a couple of pretty challenging ones ahead of me. And Draconian Fire Elementalist is one that I lost really often with. So let's hope that we can do better now that uh, I record the run. First thing we do, let's uh, set some goals. I hate these uh, these uh, numbers like 1.7. I'm a bit uh, a bit strange on that, so I have to get that to whole numbers. And I want to get spellcasting, conjuration, and fire magic to four. So I've got a good basis for for these. I've already set my macros for the Fire Elementalist starting book to make it a bit easier to play. And I'll play the beginning slowly and carefully because level 1 is probably the most dangerous level in the whole run. See, here come two guys, a fruit lizard and a goblin. And those two, for us, level 1 character with just 14 HP can be pretty dangerous. Let's kill him with our flame tongue. That worked, nice. So, now we've got a weapon. We know this weapon is not cursed. Oh my god, that's a jackal. We do not want to fight a jackal pack yet. So... I will also... Oh, there's another jackal pack. So let's see if we can get just the kobold to recognize us and come down here. Jackal packs in every direction we haven't scouted yet. Where is the jackal? It's gone. It's a bit frightening. Especially since we are on level 1, that means we cannot just leave the level and uh, retreat if uh, we've got something fast on our heels. Especially something fast. Uh -huh. That's a good position to get some distance between you and an enemy. So already six and si 66 percent towards level two. I'll take a short look down here. Let's kill this cobalt just for the experience. And so we can... Oh fuck. Missed all the flame tongues. Missed another one. Missed another one. Oh, come on. So now I've got two flame tons. Come on. Ah, finally. That was a series of miscasts. We got a 9% flame here ch uh, f a failure chance. Strange. Can we kill the other skeleton? I think we can, and if not, we can run away. Level 2, perfect. Dodging level 2, stealth level 2, and experience level 2. Let's quickly pick up the loot that we see here in the beginning of the level. And swap to the dagger. The reason why we swap to the dagger is because our club has an accuracy of 3, damage 5. The dagger has accuracy 6 and damage 4. So we've got a lot higher chance to, uh, to hit the enemies with that dagger especially as long as our fighting skills are not trained which will probably will stay for a long while so let's go back down here 
We could learn throw flame now, but I usually don't learn this one with my fire elementalists. It's just pretty much the same as flame tongue, just with more range. I don't think we need that. The bat. Let's lure it away. Kill it. Oh. A cat that should usually be dead just entered this table and uh, wants to watch us play a little bit. Cooney. Cooney, get, get away in front of the screen. I have to see the screen. Uh oh, it's a bit dangerous. With the in Malay, those uh, dart slugs are not that hard when they don't shoot you from a distance. I definitely... Oh, okay. Retreat, retreat, retreat. I'm still afraid of the jackal pack. I'll try to avoid that. Let me pick up those stones. So I've got a weapon to use at maximum range. And I'll also pick up those sling bullets because if I can find an uncursed sling, I'll definitely use it. We can shoot them with the with the stones a couple of times and probably soften them up before we start using our magic. Probably saw I have uh, made a macro for my uh, shooting attacks as well, so I can shoot just to the position where the monster is standing rather than uh, the maximum range. This could be a weapon we want to use if it's not cursed but because it's very very effective in combination with uh, with the conjure flame spell that we will learn later talking about learning later we are almost at level three so let's take this jackal with us a single jackal is not a problem but the thing with jackals they always appear in packs and they are faster than us. So uh, you cannot outrun them, you cannot uh, regenerate by uh, running around a column or something like that. <laughs> Anyways, we reach level three. We increase our intelligence because we want to be a real caster. Also our scales got tougher. See, we're draconian, we've got now five natural AC. Um, to counter that, we cannot wear body armor, which is quite a disadvantage, but still we take that. Uh, the funny thing about Draconians is that at level 7 they will get uh, scales of a different color and each color has different advantages or disadvantages in terms of uh, skill aptitudes and also uh, resistances. We get a breath attack, breath attack and so on. So level 7 is always a very exciting part of a Draconian run. Okay, let's go. By the way, uh, as you might hear, um, because Crawl does not have sound, I played some music in the background, and uh, to avoid uh, copyright claims, I, uh, I just played on YouTube uh, an album that uh, my own band recorded and uh, so you're forced to listen to some heavy metal today <laughs> I hope that's okay <laughs> so we're done with the first level let's see if we miss any loot nothing in particular so time to go down to dungeon level 2 getting a bit hungry I'll try to avoid using my goodbye Edda is dangerous go to another I, I don't I want to be that close to the adder oh whoa, whoa, whoa. it's a bit dangerous as well but we can s use the stairs oh and we found a good new weapon plus two short sort of flaming that does a lot more damage than our dagger we will stay with that for a while 
Also, we've got a lot of scrolls, so we can probably get rid of a curse. Let's try out this amulet. Plus six amulet of reflection. That's a really good one. Wow. Excellent loot for us on the first level. I'll take these guys back up with me, so this guy cannot snipe us with his smite. Regenerate our um, power points a little bit. Kill him. So, now I'm feeling a lot better prepared. Actually, we're a bit ahead of the curve. These worms are pretty slow, so they're easy to kill with everybody who has a ranged attack. Oh, that was one step too much. Luckily the goblin didn't realize. So we got a ring, let's try that out. Magical power, perfect. We can spam our spells a lot more now. That more than doubled our current power points. What a tough, what a good start. It's really good. Curse sword minus one. An altar of Okavaru. We do not take that. So we do not want to play a hybrid run or a transition melee run. I want to really learn how to play casters. That's uh, the big idea behind uh, becoming greater fire elementalist. For some combos like Minotaur, Hill Orc or also, okay, that looks, that what kind of a whip does he have? A whip of electrocution, that's super dangerous. I want this whip, but I want to get it without dying. So I'll fight these guys one by one. We lure this guy up. Oh, we one-shot him. Perfect. Take his plus two whip of electrocution. And that's gonna be our weapon from now on. That's an excellent weapon. And that's actually worth putting a couple of points into maces and flails, I think. Let's get that to five. I will eventually max it because that helps us so much in the uh, early and mid game. I will auto explore a bit now. Wait a second, we are already level 4. Let's learn the spells Conjure Flame and Sticky Flame. Conjure Flame is already very castable, Sticky Flame will still take a while. It is 45% failure chance. These gnolls are dangerous. I'd like to play that safe. Got him. Next one, got him. And this one has a halberd of protection, so we need to use our ranged attack to kill it. Good. I picked that up. Might be helpful in certain situations. I think with this equipment, I also feel ready to take on the adder. Do it like this. Oh fuck, I miscast Contra Flame. This area is no more travel excluded. Where did he go? The Adam must still be somewhere on this level. Not afraid of these guys anymore. Level 5, good. But we cannot yet learn Fireball, which is the last spell of our starting book we want to learn.
The adder is still around, but we don't necessarily have to kill it. There's also a hunting sling. Here's the adder. So let's conjure a flame and kill it from a distance. With our ring of uh, magical power, we've got uh, enough magical reserves to just spam flame tongue at it. Okay, okay. Now we don't need the spare anymore. I will put the electrocution whip on A and the hunting sling on B so we can swap between the both of them down to dungeon level 3. So now we start shooting them from a distance with uh, that's Terence. What about our sticky f I'd like to fight him a bit later when sticky flame gets more castable. It's very likely that we could kill him already now, but uh, why take a risk? We want to win this run. That's the reason why I don't learn the um, throw flame spell. By the way, I like to pick up uh, some some missile weapon for the maximum range and then swap to my spells once the enemies get closer. Got another amulet, but I cannot imagine any any uh, amulet that I would choose over the reflection amulet at the moment. With a sling and sling bullets, we will kill many enemies from a distance. They won't even reach melee range. Oh, another improvement. A glowing hat. Plus one hat. Excellent. That's another point of uh, armor class. Not being able to, uh, to wear body armor means that uh, those uh, accessory armor slots are even more important for us than they usually are. Thirty-eight percent failure now. I think we can we can fight him now. It's a good chance to get get it out once, especially with our high uh, mana. Come on, dude! Where uh, there he comes? Let's see if we will enter the sticky flame at one point, or if we can just. We do it the cowardly way and just kill him from a distance with our sling. Oops. And we've got him. Doesn't drop anything interesting though. Just uh, let's take a quick look down here. Which ghosts do we have here? The hungry ghost and the ghost of a troll fight. I will definitely not go in there. Down to the next level. Aren't workers are kind of dangerous. Let's see if we can. Ah, but we can set them on fire. That's the power of sticky flame. Damage over time, which is super overpowered in the early game. I really, really love this spell. You can just uh, set the enemies on fire kite them away and they will die over time. So, bye. While you retreat, there's a very slow risk that uh, that they will be able to uh, do any damage on you. Uh, 
And my goal is to not get into any really dangerous situations at all if I can avoid it. But we've got a pretty strong character. We were lucky with our loot drops. Blonk the Orc, wielding a halberd, and he has the plus two rope of fire resistance, which makes him a bit tough. Um, later. Usually, an ogre would be kind of dangerous too. But I'm positive that. Uh, where is he? So this guy is invisible. That's usually a problem, but we know where he is up here. So we can just sticky flame him if we don't miscast the spell and don't miscast it again. Okay, that makes it a bit dangerous. Swap to our electrocution web. Oh, he's visible again. We are confused though. That's not good. When we're not confused anymore, we've got him. Ha! And we got him. That was badly played. That was a lot more dangerous than it had to be. By the way, I think we can we can take him out. I, I want to fight him. We've got this corridor here, which makes it a lot easier. So we can just do this. He steps into the fire, which does a lot of damage to him. And he's down. He burned. Blonk the Orc to death. And we get yellow color for our scales. Yellow color is not bad. That means we get acid resistance and we can spit acid at our enemies now. Resist cor erosion and spit acid. I don't think it changes our skills here, does it? No, rather not. But I like yellow draconians. That's definitely, could have been worse. Um, the acid breath, I'll put that on the shortcut. Two, uh, B, yeah. It was B, was it? No, A, F. Oh, what a big room. No tactical advantage to us when we have to fight in here, but it's completely empty of, uh, of monsters. A killer bee, that's dangerous, but luckily we've got this amazing little spell here, which allowed us to uh, control the the battlefield. We're running a bit low on mana, so I'll see if I can kill them with the sling. And use a mana just to Recast the Conjure Flame. Oh, fuck. And now we are in danger. Take the Whip of Electrocution and see what we can do with that. Because we are out of mana. Okay, we need whole numbers. So one more into Maces and Flails. Uh, also need... i uh, also try to get these three up to level five and I'll put evocation up to three so we've got at least a bit of evocation that all won't help us if we are not able to kill this B that didn't work either uh oh Do we want to polymorph it I don't think so I probably have to enchant weapon, okay. And, uh, oh fuck. I have to blindly drink some potions I think to make this a bit safer. 
I take the ones of which we have two. That was Potion of Curing, very good. Let's eat an apple so we can cast again. And we killed it. Damn. That was not good. I'll enchant our electrocution with further. Uh, bees on level 4 are pretty dangerous. I thought we were safe with the with the conjure flame, but then uh, they got uh, random energy and they got over the the square between us. Let me pick up the boomerang just so when we are using our whip of electrocution we can still at the same time use a more effective ranged attack. So level 5, this is the potential level for the temple, so let us start uh, using our scrolls here, identify. We identify the potions first. Lignification, nice, that makes the next fight against beast trivial. Flight, no. Ambrosia, oh, good to have too. Degeneration, good that we didn't drink it. I'll check the remaining scrolls, probably the four stack. What, what, is it? what was that? The four stack was remove curse, okay, it doesn't matter at the moment. Uh, but now that we have it, we can check the other amulet, guardian spirit, we don't need that. As a caster, that's actually pretty bad. Let's read this as well. That's blink. Oh, how unlucky. Emulation. Okay. We don't have. Did we already check identify? Yeah, we already knew identify. Okay, I forgot that. The scorpion is kind of dangerous, but uh, with our battlefield control, we're doing well against it. Oh, there's a lot of monsters. Sub to the whip, kill this arc. Oh, fuck. Mistake. So, yeah. It's not a uh, big problem though, but uh, to avoid trouble, I retreated. Great flow. Mr. Overkill. What was that? <laughs> That's how you kill characters. Okay, come on now. Concentration. This guy will kill in melee. We don't want the orc wizard to be far away from us because that would allow him to abuse his uh, mean magical tricks. Nah, range battle, not with us. Plus three flail. I don't think I'll pick that up. But maybe, maybe for later. We could read a scroll of. Uh, Uh, of brand weapon, and since we already trained the maces and flays skill a bit, I think that's worth. Oops. Scroll of identify. We will directly read that and identify the last potion, which is mutation. Very good. So we don't randomly drink it when we get into trouble. Centaurs are very dangerous if you have to fight them from a distance, but if you can get them around the corner, 
like here, then no problem. This one was I had an additional handicap because it uh, had a cursed weapon, a cursed curse bow. Priest can smite us from the back, and the smite attack is very dif uh, difficult to dodge. It's, it's impossible to dodge because it doesn't require a line of sight and it automatically hits when he casts it. Okay, let's go to the temple. And check which gods we have to choose from. We have Sif Muna. We also have Verhumet. I think I want to go for Verhumet. I've got a lot more Sif Muna wins compared to Verhumet. And Verhumet is pretty cool. It's the god of destruction of magic. Gives us a couple of uh, uh, attack spells, uh, spells to which we get uh, access. And makes us regenerate uh, from killing monsters. Regenerate mana. Also, it increases the range of our offensive spells. Ah, there's a null palace on this island. Let's see if we go there. Starving. Quickly eat a ration. I do not want to fight the guy with a. With a, with a dire flail in melee. He saw he just hit us once and that did so much damage. Found another amulet of guardian spirit, which we don't want, and another unknown amulet. This one is inaccuracy. Good. I knew we had to remove curse. That's why we can just get rid of it again directly. Now harm and faith are the only remaining amulets that we most likely do not want to, to get. So do we want to get in here? Are we strong enough to get in here? Hmm. Let's not take a risk. Let's do uh, one or two uh, additional dungeon levels and then come back. As you see, we are generally pretty strong. Since the one misplay a couple of levels ago, there were not many situations that really brought us in trouble. Okay, we have to get rid of this guy, and I hope, yeah. Our whip is really a strong weapon. Okay, we got poisoned. We have got uh, curing uh, once in case we need it. And there is another potion of curing. Nice. This guy can do a lot of damage in melee, so I just set him on fire and kited him around then. That's the big strength of uh, Sticky Flame. I continue using these on our whip of electrocution. 
might be appearing like a bit of a waste putting so much resources into the whip of electrocution which is just a early to mid gain weapon but uh that's the most dangerous phase of the game for this character and later i prefer to swap to some kind of a um to an artifact weapon that uh, increases our spell casting with intelligence or something like that, rather than using the weapon to actually do damage. Maces and Flates level 9, did I not set a goal for it? Okay, let's get it to 10. Let's also get Fighting to 3. And Evo a bit higher. Conjuration 4. Fire Magic, f 9, not 4. Six, generation six. We're done with this level. That's already dungeon seven. Directly read the scroll of identifier. We now know position of edgy. Good. We can buff up a little bit more. We still did not find teleportation among our scrolls. This is probably one of the two scrolls. Amnesia. That's fear or sad. Enchant armor on our head. Good. Another point of protection value. And this double scroll is random uselessness. We can drop the other one. Okay, wait a second. I have to change the music quickly. Listen to this record again. I don't want to get any copyright issues. <laughs> uh, for this first episode, I think I'll try to clear the first 10 levels of the dungeon. That would be pretty cool if we can do that. Okay, and there comes a priest from the back and he directly smites us. I should have retreated up towards the direction of the stairs, but luckily we get him close to us and can kill him quickly bit of a dangerous situation. Not super dangerous, but uh, one that you'd rather want to avoid. There's a centaur warrior inside this vault, which is pretty tough for us to handle uh, from a distance, and we would have to handle him from a distance. Okay, this guy is immune to fire, so... Uh, we have to kill him in melee, but luckily we have got a plus six whip of Alec, which is a fantastic melee weapon. If we can lure the guys into our flames, they will, most of them at this part in the game will die very quickly. Oh, a shop. It's a potion shop. What does it have to offer? <coughs> Haste is a potential lifesaver. I'll definitely buy this. Might is still unknown, so I'll buy that as well. And in this. Cool. Curing, we might come back and buy them later. Got just one unknown potion left now. Pretty cool. We have a nice supply of potions. We have curing, edgy, lignification, ambrosia, invisibility, might, and haste. Did I forget anything? What about? Okay, we get there from from the down level. And here, let me just take another look at the monsters in this vault. Uh, the centaur warrior is the biggest problem. I do not want to go there yet. Okay, we've got a 
pretty tough combination of monsters here, so we will not fight them now. Rather see if the other down staircases are probably a bit... Yeah, what am I doing here? Miscast twice, got a bit drained. Oh, there is no other. Okay. We have to do it here. We get uh, access to the shock scale spell now by Verhumet, but I don't want to learn shock. This guy comes up with us, we kill him quickly. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's very good that we can, if we have to, also do a lot of damage in melee. It's a big advantage that many casters don't have at this point in time. And we've got a trident of freezing, plus four. Not bad either. So I want to... Kill this guy safely. Good. I don't think he can one shot us. Oh, uh, maybe he could. That was a bit risky. If he got a really good hit with both his weapons, could have gotten close for us. That's a big park of enemies on one square. That's why we learned the fireball spell. It still has a pretty high failure rate, but I think it's worth, yeah. Take out the whole group at once. The advantage of Fireball, our, our area of effect spell. There was an undead ogre down here. Again, let's try to use the Fireball. Okay, this time it was less successful. And we're running a bit short on mana, so I'd rather retreat to the stairs. We want to kill this guy on the way, just by kiting him. I want full mana before I go back to fight the uh, orc warrior with a uh, with a glaive. So kill him quickly. Yeah. And probably increase the speed at which we play a little bit. Psyche, uh, we can kill her very quickly, but she's got a dagger of chaos, so there's a slight risk that she could abyss us. Oh, we get to get maces even higher. Also, conjuration level seven and fire magic to level seven. Plus four dagger of chaos. That's a dangerous weapon. Cool thing, by the way, this whip has a skill cap, um, attack speed cap at level 12, and that's we're already there, almost there. Combined with the fact that um, we have a slightly higher natural armor class compared to usual casters with our with our draconian scales, it makes us. Quite a strong melee fighter. Throw frost, we don't need that either. Mm -hmm. 
killed all of these. Nice. I think we are now past the point where we want to make big use of the sling. As, uh, damage is just not high enough to handle to do anything significant to most of these guys. We were able to kill a troll. A bit lucky that he didn't hit us. That's nice. Okay. Yucks are tough, but luckily we got the chance to get our Conjure Flame up. And since sheep are pretty stupid, they just run into the flame like sheep. Let's get one more to Maces and Flames now. So we've got it at 12. Increase our fighting skill to 6. Probably a bit more dodging. 4. And afterwards, when we're there, we should be pretty fine in terms of uh, defense and we can go back to... Uh, we can then go back to our, our spells. At the moment, we don't have any spells that we want to learn, so... Uh, we should get Fireball a bit better. Conjuration, Fire Magic. Let's get that one higher as well. So, and we're done with dungeon level 9. One more to reach our exploration goal for this episode. That looks like there's directly a kind of a special vault. Searing Ray, do we want to learn Searing Ray? I can't see why I would want to learn this spell. Cyan ugly thing. Resistant to electricity, so our Electric, electric attack doesn't work. We can probably see if we can lure it through. Oh, there comes an ant from the other side. That's not good. Mm. Set it on fire and hope that we can kill it very quickly. It is still standing in the fire, so it will. Yeah, we've got it. Oh. That was a dangerous situation. That was really dangerous. Try this. Ring of Stealth. We don't need that, but we've got a Ring of Protection. Cool. So throw away the Ring of Stealth. Never use that over Ring of Protection plus two. Hydra. Eight headed. I want to do the same tactic. Oh, fuck. Miscast the Conjure Flame. Fuck. And it almost one shot us. Uh, it did. Almost 50% of our HP. If we survive one more turn next to it. Let's read curing. Oh, fuck. But, uh, oh, God. We have to read one more curing, I think. Just so the centaur doesn't one-shot us. Oh, fuck. We're in trouble. The Cyclops can definitely one-shot us. We do not have... We do not have... Fog. So this is the time to read this blinking scroll. We have to get out of here. Oh. Oh. Not good, not good. 
Anything else we could do here? Cough haste. And run. Fuck. Holy moly, what's going on there? Whew. I should not have rushed in there. Uh, we killed a couple of very strong enemies. But we almost killed ourselves. That's It's super dangerous vault. So let's regenerate. And approach this a lot slower. Check out this ring. Resist corrosion. We don't need that. We are already resistant to corrosion. Enslavement. That can help us in such situations. Ay, ay, ay. How dangerous. But you know what? Before we do this, let's rather go back up to do the transporters on D6. Probably we get some more experience and some some nice items there. The noise should not be a big problem now. Let's go in here. We're confused. Fuck. How did we get confused? We're still confused. Fuck. That's not good. Ignore Shaman confuses us. Can we... We are also heavily uh, contaminated. That's not so good. But we killed the Shaman at least. Ah, wait. This magician, he did it. this guy, that's good. Fuck, and they all have long weapons. Kill this guy, good. Go out here for now and wait till we are not contaminated anymore. Next attempt. Whoa! Fuck. Out again, regenerate. Which of these guys did the... Oh my god, he's got a plus 10 trident, trident of Alec. But I want this trident. So... Check his resistances. No R alike. Killed him, good. We want to keep him at a distance. That's the guy with the trident and now we can safely kill him with fireball. From the second row. No, no, he's not dead. There he comes. Let's quickly go out, regenerate our mana. Wait for him. There he comes. Let's kill him with fireball. Nice, we got him. Plus 10 trident of Alec. 
Sadly, we do not cross train pole arms. And that's such a good weapon that I almost consider learning it anyways. Drop all that other stuff here. That's the question. Plus 10 Trident of Alec. That's a fantastic weapon. Manual of Ice Magic. Do we want to learn Ice Magic? Probably now that we've got a manual we want. Anyway, the Null Vault is cleared. We got an absolutely over the top weapon now. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Let's go down to D8 next. What do we have? We have fear. We have invisibility. With inverse, we should be able to do that rather easily. So let's craft this and go in. Let's focus on the center. And we got them, nice. An unknown scroll, bit of gold. That's mainly for the experience, I guess. And then we still had a rune door on D3, which should not be a problem now. Let's go there. Yep. Should be able to kill them rather easily. Yep. Got you. Shops are all empty in this Gozak vault. Uh, have we got decent ice spells? None at all. Probably later. <laughs> but I think let's go back down to D9 and let's here end this episode. I think this is. Uh, for the moment, wait, quickly kill this guy. We made quite a lot of progress in this first episode. See, we are now pretty good at using this whip at Alec, which is a super weapon. The only bad thing about it is that we have a better weapon that I would have preferred to train instead of it. We are still rather low on our magical skills, but we get that up. Defensive skills. Are Apart from that, also rather low, but we've got nice equipment with this whip, head plus two, amulet of reflection, magical power. This ring of protection is also pretty nice. I think we are pretty stable. So, that should be okay for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching me play a little bit of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Not on the highest level, but probably not completely crappy either. And uh, I hope to see you all again for the next episode. Until then, bye everybody.